everyone. This video is going to be kind of like a travel slash tour slash twilight video. I um, am currently on a little road trip right now. I stayed in Seattle for two days and I'm driving to Forks, Washington right now to see all of the little Twilight stuff and we're actually staying at the Bella Swan Twilight House. So if you would like to see the house and if you would like to see my journey there and everything that we do, um, stick around for the video. Um, I have a few cool nature shots already and there's gonna be so much Twilight content. This video is basically gonna be Twilight everything and if you are like me and you kind of re-entered your twilight phase because of TikTok or because of midnight sun midnight sun's new release um stick around i have really good content coming up for you and i'm so excited to film this and i'm so excited to be here and i guess let's go <laughs> drove past, drove through Port Angeles, and um, we had to stop by Bella Italia because that's where they had dinner, and um, I'm gonna show y'all now. This is it, and I'm gonna take a picture in front of it, and that's about it. I just wanted to show y'all. found this Twilight store, but they didn't have really any merchandise. They just had like some cheesy posters. Um, so maybe there's another store because I feel like I've seen one before, but we made it to Bella's truck. And I'll show it. Okay, so this one has the Bella license plate. Um, I'm not sure which car this is, but this is hers. It's very cute. Very old. They literally sat right there. I'm in this little forest that's right by Bella's truck and it is literally, it doesn't even look real. I took a few pictures and <laughs> it just like looks like a green screen. Not even kidding a little bit. This is absolutely insane. And then when the sun hits the floor, it just like shines off of the rocks and the grass. Hey. We just stopped by Forks High School because um, we were in the area and why not? And now it's raining and we'll go to the house soon. officially entered the Twilight House. This is my um, my good man behind me, Edward Cullen, just chilling in Bella's room. Um, let me show you her room. It is amazing here. The drive here was so, so scenic. It started snowing on the top of a mountain and now I'm in the Bella Swan house. Here, let me show you her room. She, Socks already on it. The infamous purple bed sheets. This is a little hello. Um, Edward chill in there. And then I think over here is when she had the really depressing new moon scene. And there is the wolf pack, them married. Um, it is quite amazing. All her little cactus too. Prom and Jacob's little dream catcher for her. We are currently, um, a lot of the restaurants around St. Helens didn't look completely amazing and I wanna do a full marathon tonight so we're making 
kind of like a spin-off of the mushroom ravioli dish that Bella had. Um, it's gonna be amazing, and then we're gonna watch all of the movies, and um, I don't know, I'm so excited. I'll, I'll show you all the rest of that. Okay, so this is what we have going on. We have prosciutto and cheese tortellini, and um, we're making a steak as well, and the mushroom, and then that's our raviolis. So, it's gonna be good. Okay, I also have to show y'all the infamous green kitchen. Charlie Swan started that trend um, however many years ago, like 12 years ago. Um, oh, that looks really good. Can I show? Look, amazing. This is the green kitchen. It's very, very, very cute. I would not mind. Oh, also the cute tile floor. I honestly didn't know it looked like this. Very cute. Um, this is our, these are our leftovers. The mushroom ravioli that we, and we didn't even use the same recipe or anything, but I was like, Bella had mushroom ravioli. Um, so, we are eating that before we leave. Um, oh yeah, there's also a recipe box. And the mushroom ravioli is in there, but it looked way too complicated. But here's all of the little things. Um, Rosalie sweet corn, sweet street corn. <laughs> Bell's mushroom ravioli. We didn't use it, but there it is if anyone wants to screenshot it and make it at home. And then there's Jasper's jalapeno pepper and forks block. Pretty amazing. I'm sad that we have to leave, but. I'm taking my pasta. I don't think I showed the living room yet. Oh, Alice kind of scared me. Here's Alice. Oh look, all the books are back here. I didn't even see that. And then Charlie's favorite beer. She looks so mad. Did I do it? Um, there's Bella. I don't know whose room this is. But it's kind of cute. It's really small. There's another bedroom. This one's really big. Um, but there's this really small one right here. It's like a little corner. That's all. So our trip to Forks was amazing. We got some really nice shots and um, the Bella House, Bella Swan House, amazing. I tried to stay up and marathon all of the movies, but I ended up falling asleep during Eclipse and then I played the first, I mean the last two this morning. So we are leaving the Bella Swan House today and I think there are about two more stops that are Twilight themed that I will definitely be filming. I think we're gonna go to the Carver Cafe. Um, I think that's what it's called. It's where they, um, Bella and her dad would go to eat food all the time um, and then I think we're gonna stop by Edward's house and hopefully I can do like a funny TikTok because you've seen everyone do like the dun 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 anyways I'll try that um it was fun while we were here I wish we could be here longer but checkout is at 11 um so I'll see you later I'm so sad we're leaving but this is a cute little sign they have in front and I don't think I've shown y'all that outside yet. Also, this place is massive even though they show only like three rooms in the movie. Goodbye, Swan House. I will see you in my dreams. Okay, so we just ate at the Carver Cafe. Um, it was much smaller than I expected and there was no one else in there. Um, just definitely a family owned restaurant that doesn't have a lot of business anymore. Um, but now we are at the the lion fell in love with the lamb and where Edward like introduced all of his powers to her. Um, this is a little sign that they have. Um, and it has all the spots and it has all the signs over there. So I'll go show y'all. I found it. 
the trails are kind of confusing because it's not like there's arrows or anything but um, I found the little spot that I wanted to find out of all of the little spots um, and there are there's a the little description and this is the spot what a sick masochistic line Bella was right here <laughs> and Edward was standing. at the Carver Cafe they were selling these like I got a bite at Carver Cafe and the shirts were really ugly but I got one my the person that I'm with got one for me and um, that was very nice and I'm very grateful because I wouldn't have gotten one by myself and I will definitely be wearing it um, but this kind of closes off the entire twilight trip and I had so much fun and um, this place is absolutely beautiful and if you ever have a week or so um, and you have the fun saved up to come here I would um, the Carver Cafe was kind of running low on business so I'm glad that we were able to go and eat and even buy some merchandise that they had um, it's been amazing it's so beautiful here there are two more little stops that I see that I'll show you really quick this is the um, part where he says I'm designed to kill Bella and then she says, I don't care I've killed people it doesn't matter and she's like I'm not afraid of you and there's one up here <laughs> Um, then this is the last one that I see, um, and he says, because you believe the lie, the camouflage. I'm the world's most dangerous predator. Everything about me invites you in. My voice, my face, even my smell, as if I need any of that. As if you could outrun me, as if you could fight me off. That was right here, apparently, where he just threw a big tree. Okay. Whoa! This is it, this is the end. I'm out of breath because I've been climbing all these mountains, <laughs> little hills. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, I haven't done a video in so long and it feels so nice to do one again, especially about something like this that I love so, so much. So thank you for watching and if you'd like to give a subscribe and um, a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. I love you all and I really hope you enjoyed this beautiful place like I did. Bye.